Uh, let's start off first of all with uh, Vera, who we've got on the line. Good morning, Vera. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning to you. Now, you've got a question uh, because you're worried about how to explain this to your son, and for very good reason. Yeah. Uh, we were we was involved in the Junis in terror attack. Um, my son suffered terrible with post-traumatic stress disorder and had counselling. He's only 14. I just don't know how to tell him about London as it's getting closer to home. Right, I understand that, yeah. OK. I really sympathise. I happened to be in the 2004 tsunami and then I was at King's Cross on 7-7 and Tavistock Square. So I also found this really difficult because I mean, it, just, it just brings it all back to you and you feel very vulnerable again. I do think it's important, though, to, to let your son know what's happening because the risk when we don't talk to young people, and your son is especially vulnerable, is he will hear it from somewhere else and he'll hear it in a way that you don't want him to hear it. So I would sort of sit him down and say, look, I've got something difficult to tell you, and then just tell him as simply as you can what happened, that there was, and it is very frightening, but get it into perspective. You know, these are very separate incidents, and as I keep trying to remind people, there were 9.9 .9 million people in London yesterday, and you know, nearly 9.9 .9 million people had a perfectly normal day. That doesn't in any way detract from the tragedy of what happened, but it's very important that we all keep it in proportion. Absolutely. I mean, it's a safe place. It is a safe place, and, and there will be isolated incidents. Of course, they're tragic and horrific when they occur, and they impact on people's lives, but it's really important to get that balance, and honesty is so important when you're talking to children. Mm -hmm. okay. I think also, just thinking about it, <clears throat> um, Vera, uh, this is an area of particular expertise with, um, with the Speakmans, and, and if your son is, uh, is still struggling with PTSD after Tunisia, I've got a feeling they might be able to help you a little bit with that. So uh, if you um, if you stay on the on the line and um, and maybe we'll be able to uh, to put you together with them. Um, so yeah. uh, all right, Vera. Thank all you right. very much indeed thank for calling. Thank you.